an explosion of energy was released after hundreds of Dutch festival fans returned to the dance arena after a year of absence and with no social distancing. I really look forward for just having a party again. So yeah. <laughs> You're in a very crowded event. Yeah, I'm very, very crowded. Are you too worried? No, not really, because we are we've all tested before. Oh, it was so amazing. I'm still hyped. Like the adrenaline is still in my body, but I loved every second. The people went crazy, so really amazing. Organizers divided 1,300 people in six different bubbles in which different rules applied. With sensors, they gathered data about their behavior. Everyone is asked to get tested afterwards, but researchers say the results are not needed for the experiment to work. We are not interested in the real infections, it's, it's a mathematical prediction model what we are uh, actually doing. Isn't that strange? Because that's the best proof you can get, right? If it's safe or not. Yeah, but then people really become guinea pigs and I don't think that's the idea. It's, it's not safe. Before the event, 11 people tested positive with COVID-19. They were not allowed to enter. Dancing while government officials and observers are closely watching, it's not something Dutch dance fans normally would like to do. But nothing is normal, and these badly took the opportunity to dust off their dancing shoes. Similar experiments will be held in the next few weeks. If successful, organizers are hopeful they can reopen soon. We have the Eurovision Song Festival uh, in, in May. We have the Euro uh, uh, football tournament in, uh, in June. And we want to build up the capacity uh, step by step in order to have a summer with uh, hopefully full capacity again. Much will depend on a possible third wave of infections. Many in the Netherlands have urged the government to ease the lockdown, which is one of the strictest in the region. Last Tuesday, an explosion took place at one of the testing facilities. Police called it an attack. But with infections still high, a night curfew remains in place. This is the future now. Uh, to be honest, I hope not. I, I, I really, I really want to go back to normal. But if this is necessary, why not? For at least 1,300 people, life felt a little bit like normal again. But however welcome, it was short-lived. After a few hours on the dance floor, they went back into lockdown. Step Fasen, Al Jazeera, Amsterdam.